Hi there, mate. How's it going? It's Benji here, and this is a recap of Dark Season 2. I'm not going to include every single detail here because the main purpose of this video is to just refresh your memory ahead of Season 3. If you haven't watched my Season 1 recap yet, I highly recommend that you watch that first, then come back to this video. Also, I'm going to butcher a lot of German names here, so forgive me. Here we go with the Season 2 recap. Season 2 begins in 1921. Young Noah and an unnamed man are digging around what we know as the Windling Caves. This would later become the time-traveling passage we saw in Season 1. The unnamed man looks like an older version of Bartosz Tiedemann, but it's not confirmed yet. Young Noah kills this unnamed man because he appears to have lost his faith. This faith refers to their group named Sigmundus. Their leader is Adam and he's talking with adult Noah about Claudia Tiedemann's diary. This is the Noah we saw throughout season 1. Adult Noah has to find the missing pages from the diary to understand the apocalypse that will take place on June 27th, 2020. Talking of the apocalypse, we last saw young Jonas in a post-apocalyptic world in 2052. He's still in that timeline as we go to 2053. He learns that the world as he knew ended on June 27th, 2020. The leader around here is Elizabeth Doppler, Charlotte and Peter's deaf girl. Young Jonas wants to go back in time to stop everything, but adult Elizabeth established a restricted zone around the nuclear power plant. Young Jonas goes there nonetheless and finds a black and blue floating sphere inside the reactor. He listens to some recordings by Claudia Tiedemann and learns that this is a wormhole and this can be used to time travel. Adult Elizabeth catches him getting into the power plant once again and hangs him. She eventually spares him but locks him up. A girl named Silja is curious about what's in the power plant so she frees young Jonas and they head into the power plant. Jonas then steps into the wormhole. Back in 2020, six days prior to the apocalypse, an investigator named Closing comes to Winden as Ulrich Nielsen, Old Helge Doppler and young Jonas have all gone missing. We of course know where they are, Old Helge went back to 1980 to kill his young self, but only the old version from 2019 died. Ulrich went back to 1953 and was arrested for murder, and young Jonas is in post-apocalyptic 2053. In 2020, we also have adult Jonas, the man we previously called the stranger, revealing his identity to his mother Hannah. Bartosz and Martha break up. As you know, Bartosz started working with Adult Noah at the end of Season 1. Also in Season 1, power plant director Alexander Tiedemann had moved the radioactive barrels in the caves to another location while the plant was under scrutiny. Now, in 2020, he has the barrels moved back to the power plant and has them buried under concrete. We see young Elizabeth and Peter Doppler at HG Tenhouse's shop. Tenhouse is the watchmaker we saw in 1953 and 1986. He is also the writer of A Journey Through Time. Tenhouse was also the person that raised is Charlotte Doppler. Elizabeth finds a picture in the shop and recognizes Noah. Previously, Noah had given Elizabeth a watch that Charlotte used to own. What's written on the back of this picture is perplexing for Peter and Charlotte as it says January 8th, 1921 and Sigmundus Creatus Est. New investigator Clausen is growing suspicious of Alexander and Regina Tiedemann and wonders why Alexander took his wife's surname. Clausen thinks that the power plants, Alexander and the caves are all connected to these disappearances. Regina tells Clausen and Charlotte about the stranger that was in her hotel and gives his belongings to the police. Adult Janus takes his mother Hannah from 2020 to 1987. They see Ines Conwald and Mikael Nielsen. So now Hannah knows about his late husband Michael's identity. Also in 1987, Old Claudia visits her adult self who is the power plant director. Old Claudia gives her the coordinates for the time machine she buried in her backyard, basically informing her younger self about time travel. Old Claudia also says that they must stop Adam. Additionally, we learn that Claudia's father, Old Egon, has cancer. He was the police officer that dealt with Ulrich back in 1953. So to understand what happened in 1953, Old Egon talks to Adolt Algea and Old Ulrich in 1987. Adolt Algea was in a car crash last season as his older self tried to kill him and Old Ulrich has completely lost his mind. So Old Egon doesn't get much from these two. Charles Talge, who we last saw in the bunker in 1986, time travels back to 1954. This is seven months after he disappeared. Adult Noah was there with Charles Talge in 1986 in the bunker and he is there in 1954 when Talge goes back to his house. Adult Noah also meets his sister Agnes Nielsen in 1954. Agnes is Tronte's mother and Ulrich's grandmother. She arrived in Winden seven months ago and is staying at adult Egon Tiedemann's house. Anyways, during the meeting with Agnes and Noah, it comes out that Agnes was part of Sigmundus, but she left. 
Now she wants to rejoin and tells Noah where the missing pages from Old Gloria's diary are. Agnes had met with Old Gloria before talking to Adult Noah. Adult Noah kills Old Gloria and recovers the missing pages of the diary, but he is shocked after reading what's written on those pages. We don't know what he discovered. In 1987, Old Egon visits Old Ulrich multiple times and Ulrich reveals his true name for the first time. Eventually, Old Egon shows a picture of Mikael to Old Ulrich and he is enraged and attacks Old Egon. Adult Gloria goes to Old Ten House's shop with the time machine she dug up from her backyard. Old Ten House explains time travel and the bootstrap paradox to her, saying he wrote the book A Journey Through Time because someone brought it to him from the future. It's an endless cycle, there is no beginning or an end. Adult Gloria then time travels from 1987 to 2020 where she sees her daughter Regina who is dying from cancer. Adult Gloria also learns that his father will die in 1987 and she will disappear soon afterwards. She then goes back to 1987. Meanwhile, Adult Jonas and Hannah try to explain everything to Charlotte, Peter and Katarina. Katarina doesn't believe them but she goes to the school to look at photos from 1987. She finds Mikael in one of those photos and realizes that her son time traveled back to that date and became Michael Conwald. Adult Noah reveals to Charlotte that he is her father and she was taken from him. Noah says he has to end Adam to end all of this. Magnus, Francisca, Marta and Elizabeth head into the caves where they find Bartosz. He is working with Adult Noah but they don't know that. Bartosz is carrying the time machine and the others want to know what it is and what Bartosz is doing there, what is he up to. When he doesn't tell them, they take the machine, tie Bartosz up and leave. They eventually return and Bartosz reveals the truth taking them back to 1987. In 1987, Old Ulrich finds Mikael and Mikael realizes that this is his father. They try to escape into the caves but are stopped by Old Egon and the police. Mikael goes back to Ines and while the police take Old Ulrich back to the mental health facility, he spots Martha and Magnus and the others that traveled from 2020. Young Jonas ends up in 1921 after stepping into the wormhole in 2053. He sees young Noah and young Agnes there and heads to the caves to time travel. But young Noah says the wormhole won't open for another 33 years. Young Noah takes him to meet old Noah. Then Adam, the leader of Sigmundus, appears and claims that he is the oldest version of Jonas. Adam shows Jonas his neck and he has that same rope scar from 2053. While Adam converses with young Jonas, we learn that Sigmundus' goal is to destroy time. They view time as God itself and they want to destroy time because it destroys everything. Adam has a wormhole similar to the one in 2053 but the one Adam has is man-made. It can take young Jonas to any time he'd like. He chooses June 20th, 2019 the day before his father Michael committed suicide. Young Jonas thinks this is the start of everything and stopping his father from taking his own life will prevent it all. Young Jonas arrives in June 20th, 2019 and meets his father, telling him that he knows he is Mikael. Young Jonas also reveals that he is from the future and tells his father not to commit suicide. Michael is perplexed because he was not going to commit suicide. Young Jonas coming here and telling him not to do so is what causes Michael to take his own life. Also, Michael reveals that Jonas was the one that took Mikael to the caves in 2019. That's how Mikael ended up in 1986. So this version of young Jonas with the next scar will take Mikael to 1986. All of this means that the Sigmundus leader Adam tricked young Jonas. Adam agreed with young Jonas that he could stop Michael's suicide while knowing full well that this would cause the suicide in the first place. Young Jonas shows Michael his suicide letter and old Claudia appears and convinces these two that Michael should commit suicide and young Jonas should take Mikael to the caves. In 1921, we see old Magnus Nielsen talking with Adam. Magnus tells Adam that he could have told young Jonas what his function was in all of this. There is also a woman with Magnus who is presumably Francisca but this is not confirmed yet. Hannah travels from 2020 to 1954 and has a chance to save Ulrich Nielsen. She asks Ulrich to choose between her and Katharina. She is not impressed with Ulrich's enthusiasm so she leaves him there. But because she knows about the apocalypse in 2020, she stays in 1954. In 1987, Old Egon and Adult Gloria are arguing. Old Egon thinks his daughter knows about time travel and how it connects to the caves. Remember, Gloria previously traveled to 2020 and learned about his father's upcoming death. She just didn't know she would be the one causing his death. They have a tussle and Gloria pushes him and Old Egon starts bleeding. She doesn't call the ambulance and Old Egon tells her that you are the white devil. This is a reference to 1954 when Adult Egon interviewed Child Helge. Adult Egon showed the photo of the dead woman found in the woods to child Helge who said he heard about her. Adult Noah called her the white devil. 
In 1954, Adolf Egon didn't know the woman in the woods was old Gloria, but in his final moments in 1987, he finally makes the connection. After Adolf Gloria lets his father die, young Jonas with the next car gets in the house and tells Adolf Gloria that they're going to the future to change the events. Young Jonas tells her what old Gloria told him, that Adam wants to destroy time and old Gloria wants to save it. In 2020, adult Jonas reveals his identity to Martha, but Katarina interrupts them and takes Martha away. After all, Martha is Jonas' aunt. We also finally learn why investigator Clausen was so interested in Alexander Tiedemann. Alexander stole Clausen's missing brother's identity, Alexander Köhler. There's a letter in Clausen's possession which tells him that he can find the answers he is looking for in Winden. We don't know who sent this letter, but that is why Clausen is so fixated on Alexander now. Police officer Weller speaks to Charlotte about Alexander burying the radioactive barrels. Charlotte fears that Clausen's attempt to uncover these barrels will trigger the apocalypse. Because remember, adult Jonas and Hannah told Charlotte everything. She knows about the apocalypse. Adult Noir returns to 1921 after recovering the missing pages from old Gloria's diary. He wants to kill Adam, but Noah's sister, adult Agnes Nielsen, kills Noah. Before this, we learn that Charlotte's mother is Elizabeth, so they are each other's mothers and daughters. Elizabeth and Noah made Charlotte, Charlotte traveled back in time, married Peter Doppler and made Elizabeth. After adult Noah dies, young Noah goes to 2020 and Adam will go to that year soon afterwards as well. Young Noah arrives in 2020 and gives adult Jonas a letter. This is from Martha and it asks adult Jonas to save Bartosz, Francisca and Magnus. Adult Jonas heads out to save these three people. Young Jonas reunites with Marta. This Jonas just got back from 1987 with adult Claudia. However, Adam arrives from 1921 and shoots Martha. In order for Adam to exist as he is, he would have to shoot Martha because that is exactly what happened when Adam himself was young Jonas. Meanwhile, Katarina is in the caves and opens the Sigmundus gate and Clausen orders the radioactive barrels to be opened in the nuclear facility. Adult Elizabeth activates the wormhole in 2053 and these two timelines, 2053 and 2020, connect. Then a wormhole begins to form over the power plant. In 1921, Old Magnus and the woman we presume to be old Francisca activate their wormhole. In 2020, adult Jonas activates the time travel device with Bartosz, Francisca and Magnus. These four are escaping the apocalypse. Also in 2020, young Noah, Peter Doppler, young Elizabeth Doppler, adult Claudia and adult Regina are in the bunker. This is how Elizabeth survives the apocalypse and meets Noah. They will go on to make Charlotte Doppler. Charlotte from 2020 reaches out to adult Elizabeth from 2053 and the wormhole over Winden expands, destroying everything. This is how the apocalypse happens. Young Jonas is still with Martha's body as the wormhole is expanding, but a Martha from another world appears and saves young Jonas. We were dealing with time travel before, but now another world is introduced. So young Jonas with the next car survives by traveling to another world. Adult Jonas, young Magnus, Bartosz and Francisca survive by traveling to another time. Young Elizabeth, young Noah, adult Gloria, Peter and adult Regina survive in the bunker. Also adult Anna survives because she is in 1954. Everyone else is presumed dead because of the apocalypse. And that is how season 2 ends. Well, are you excited for season 3? Leave your comments down below, like this video if you found this recap useful and subscribe for more movie reviews and TV show breakdowns. That's it for now, take care and see you in the next video.